there's a lot of this crossover during 2008. You're going to see it with you know, the, the tag team and the yeah. heavyweight stuff. Mm -hmm. um, did it have impact on you guys in any way? How do you mean? Well, I mean, did it? Uh, it was confusing to the viewer. Yeah, I like it though. I think because now without it, I think it's it's what's missing a little bit. Don't you think? I don't know. It's like they create in this time, you know. CM Punk cashes in and he's, you know... Right, that's going to uh, happen. Stuff like that. that. They're creating drama with their own guys, whereas WWE can't do that right now because they haven't made this split and everyone's the same. It's kind of like, I don't know. But I are think you it's truly, miss, are you a Raw uh, or oh, SmackDown yeah. guy? Oh, when you're yeah. Kinda... It's like a it's, it's camaraderie. Almost. It was cool. Like, you've, you know, that, this show sucked last night. You know, yeah, like, you're, you're part of the team. Well, you know? Finley was saying was there's like, a little bit of that competition. And, and in my yeah. time... You don't. You didn't even go to Raw most of the time, unless they needed you for something random, or you know, you didn't even go to Raw. You only went to SmackDown. You know, it, you really felt like a part of it because you're you're doing live events. They're all SmackDown, and then you're going to SmackDown TV, and they're going home, and you're only seeing each other at pay per views. If I'm not mistaken, at this time, and you're going to tell me this is confusing, and it kind of is at this time. ECW and SmackDown had some kind of working agreement, and the talents were going back and forth. A storyline where they had a working yes. agreement. Okay. So, and really that was just like a scapegoat because they were taped the same day and it was just easier sometimes. I was going to say, why would you <laughs> yeah, fucking bother? Well, there's sure. the answer. There, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Because I remember when we were Major Brothers, we, were, we debuted as ECW talent, we got drafted to SmackDown. And then we'd work on ECW as like SmackDown guy, but there was a first hour was the ECW taping, and then you guys. Yeah, that's how it would be filmed. But sometimes, I guess, just to fill out the shows, you know, if they needed bodies, you know, they, it was a storyline. I want to say Teddy Long, the SmackDown general manager, and Armando Estrada, the ECW, manager, you know, they had a working agreement, or something like that. But that was the way. That it was a way to use all the talent and mix it up a little bit in the same day that we're filming. Is it true a lot of wrestlers don't know where they're going until they show up that night? It's another, I thought, always fun as shit episode of Raw for like, it's, a, it's fun for the boys and the fans, you know what I mean? Because you legit don't know anything. <laughs> you don't know shit. You don't know shit. And it's, it's exciting. And I think that's another element that they've lost now without the two brands. It's just like you're losing out on a, something to look forward to every year that's a dead on fun show. You know, it's, a, it's a automatic. Any examples of someone's routine being totally fucked by being sent to an, another place? Like, a, is one brand's schedule more difficult? Or the, no, I don't think more so. More home time with no. one? No. It's all wrestling. Yeah, no. But you, you don't know that you're being drafted. It's insane. That's wild. Even the top? Any, anyone from the maybe top? Maybe those end? guys are yeah. included, maybe. But we're all sitting there like idiots. Like, I remember in 2011, I, got, I was supposed to go to SmackDown, but... But I was getting drafted to Raw, but they didn't tell me that. They just told me to go home. So I'm like, so am I fired or am I going to Raw? Like, you can't fucking tell me. And they legit didn't tell me until whenever they put it on, on .com. What? Yeah. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Let me sweat that one out a little bit. So you, know, you could potentially lose travel partners. Oh, that, oh that's, that, I always got a kick out of that. Like, I rode with Co uh, Kofi and Hornswoggle for the majority of my career. And if, if I got drafted and I couldn't, you know, I'd be like, oh, that sucks, guys. Thanks. But, like, the Divas always like, oh, God. Like, big, dramatic, like, kind of, seen, I've seen a lot of that. But who gives a shit? What about boyfriends, girls, someone fucking one of the other girls, oh, yeah. and they have to, and they just, mm -hmm. different brands. Yep, it is what it is. Wow. Um, your losses to the SmackDown locker room on this uh, occasion are Batista, Ray, Kane, and Michael Cole. Pretty significant. Yeah, big time. Well, that one, the Cole one's good if you watch that back. How so? Because they do him and JR, and they make him get up and... Oh, uh, and JR doesn't... You, I'm telling you, you don't know shit, JR. Even then? <laughs> I'm telling you, JR's like, he gets up and gets this, yeah. I'm telling you. Wow. It's a shoot. So, uh, what does Edge make of it now that uh, Hunter is there with his heavyweight title? It, d does it diminish Edge's belt in any way? Um, but there's a quick fix coming to that. Right. Yeah, so. Which he would have been told about. I'm assuming he would know, because okay. we never made, you know. I think everyone sensed that. Like, how can you have both champions on one show? Or, you know. Are 
are the votes all legit for these shows? Uh, I, th- I don't know. Sometimes, like, I can't tell about this particular show, but some of those raws, I don't know. I've been like because how leery they about leave it. Leave it up to chance so much. It's such a yeah. controlled thing. Yeah. Producing well, it puts these... the, it puts the talent in a real shitty right situation. I'll call three matches with three different guys that are very different, and then have that all ready to you know. It puts you in a real shitty situation, you know. So you're never even told whether it's a work or not? Yeah, you're not. Yeah. It's terrible. Like the live events do it too, like nowadays, with the text voting. But that's more like, they're like, do you want to see a street fight or a false count anywhere? And it's all kind of the same. And you can, it's kind of, it's the different type matches, but you're really having the same match. This shit sometimes is like all over the place, you oh, know. Wow. It's, t- it's tough on the talent. That, that's who it, the rib is on the boys because it's not easy to prepare for. So even if it's not a work, I mean, even if it is a work, you still don't know that night who you're going to work? For the most part. They can say, we think it's going to be this guy, so lean towards, you know, okay. prepare for that. But, you know, it could be the other two. Wow. Um, do you know why this was eventually dropped? It was just the difficulty Probably because it was the shits it, yeah. and the tough for everyone to deal with, you know. Why it didn't make any sense? It's, it's, it's not real. Why are you making it so hard on everyone, you know? The, 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 no one's benefiting from that, you know? 